Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I will tell you this. We pulled this these meals out of our... Uh, our rear ends. Yeah, big time because um, I went all day long not having a clue what I was going to do for dinner. I do have a pizza idea, but I did pizza um, the other uh, yesterday and then I did pizza on Thursday. So I'm like, let's see what we have and utilize it. Therefore, when we go to the grocery store, we don't have to go crazy and, and, and you know, buy all the stuff. So with that said, uh, jalapeno popper, bacon tomato bagels, we're gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And then straight up tortilla chips in the oven with some nacho cheese, also gonna be good. Hello guys, and Abby. Hello Abby, hello Em. I'm gonna give you guys a close How's up. How is everyone? Once they go into it, and mm -hmm. then she's I gonna... have buffalo chicken soft tacos that I topped with some so we had a buffalo chicken um, salad in the refrigerator that had like buffalo ranch in there and then like blue cheese crumbles and stuff. So I took that and I put that on top of my tacos mm, TikTok. and I made my own tacos with that. Mm -hmm. These are going to be really good. Yeah, they look good. They look like something you would get at a fancy Spanish restaurant. So, but that's and how then I put all my of her extra, meals. Put my extra lettuce and tomatoes in the middle, put the... Extra sauce in there. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on there too. So, all of her. Bomb, khaki. Thank you, Abby. I'll tell you one thing. If you guys thank you, Em. If you guys like my meals and you think I'm so creative and you want a cookbook, if Cat would to actually make videos, you probably would have more of a following than I do. Mm, and maybe. that's I me. I don't think so. I think so. With especially if you guys could taste some of her dishes, Kaki, they look amazing. Abby thank says you, they em. look bomb too. Thank yeah. you guys. So, um, but she don't want to be, she don't want to be on camera. Listen, it's not that Lynn. I don't want to be on camera. Like, it take, I put so much into your stuff. Like, I always have to, you know, video, video your stuff. So, I know, like, but if we took turns, <laughs> if, if we took, like, I filmed you, you filmed me. I, I filmed you. You know what I mean? Hello, Andrea. See, I wouldn't need you Thank to film you, me. Man. I could just film that. Like, I was never in, like, my food things when I posted them to Instagram anyway. It was always just like videos and pictures. Like I was never in them. Oh man! <laughs> Did you just spill that all over? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you already drink your smoothies? I'm doing it right now. Right Hello, now, uh, Lynn Marie. Bear. I've got about three minutes left of drinking hey, some Emmy. greens. Hey, Emmy. How you doing, girl? Hello, Shirley. Hey, Emmy. Hi, Shirley. <laughs> That's usually like a first. Hey, did you finish your greens yet? <laughs> no, I'm still working on them. I know you guys love seeing me get them down. These smell so good. I can't wait to eat them. Now, I have them on three, two different types of um, tortillas. So, I had three of the low-carb 25-calorie ones. what I ones, do, Emmy. And then I had them on, like, the other three, which are 60 calories. And then I have, like, my extra salad and stuff in the middle. Hello, Miss Naughty Riding Hood. Do you feed the homeless? Um... What kind of question is that? Any, but when the, when it comes to the song choice, that's what I do. You hit me right in the feels with that monkey song tonight. Brought me back so many memories. Here's the thing, Emmy. When he started playing that song, guess what I did? I started singing. And he's like, please don't sing. But when he says that, that's what I do. I sing more. <laughs> yeah. I just sing. It's like, you don't have to sing. I'm like, I have to sing because that song... It's so happy. I have to it sing is it. a happy song. Cortland said uh, the song I chose last night. He's like, man, this brings me back. And that's what I do. That's mm -hmm. one of my talents. I bring you guys back, you know, in yeah, time. That song, and I let from, you, that song from you know, last night, I was just like, wow. I'll make you guys feel the good old days. Feel it in your soul. Hello, Chris Smith. Looks good tonight. Thank hey, you. Hey, Chris Smith. Thank you, Miss Naughty Riding Hood. You were just singing that song in the car? Well, I was just singing that song earlier just because she was playing it. <laughs> I think of the Brady Bunch all the time when I um, when I, when I think of the monkeys and, you know. I love the monkeys. <clears throat> like top of my lungs hitting my steering wheel singing, LOL. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's the only way you can sing that song, I mean. It's the only way. I uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. We had an okay day. Oh, it was rainy thank today you. here. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I worked. I worked. I had to be up at freaking 5 o'clock this morning. After going to bed at, like, what, 1.30? Yeah. 
It was a rough day. Um, did Jamie ever play football? I tried out one day. I got kicked off the team because I didn't know where one of the uh, <laughs> one of the pad thingies go. The coach kicked me off the field. <laughs> I, <laughs> I yeah. I, I and someone asked if Kaki worked today. Yeah, she did. I yeah, I, I did. I had to be in at six o'clock. Uh, so I got up at five because I had to make myself look presentable for work. You guys just get the old natural me. Me too, Leslie. <laughs> Haven't seen you on my For You in a while. Yeah, I'm a, kind of a hit or a miss. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not. Most of the time I'm not. Hello, Brandon. How you doing? We're What's up, good. Brandon? We're good. Hi from Fargo. Hello. Hello, Ann. Is that AG1? What is that? I don't know what that means. AG1. AG1. Why does that sound familiar? What is AG1? Is it a sauce? Yeah. This is cheese sauce. Hold on. <laughs> I don't even know. Thank you, Chris. Because there's no other app I want to do. Oh, yeah, I know, Leslie. Trust me, this is my favorite app, too. Yeah, TikTok's my but favorite. But you know what? And I kind of figured no one watched. No one really watched. Some of you guys do watch the running videos, but 9 out of 10 times, my running videos doesn't really get a whole lot of love in, right? But I figured maybe, hopefully, because I spoke from the heart and I didn't, put it through an editing app. I just kind of went on TikTok, hit record, said what I wanted to say because I know okay, Maureen. it's not just me. It's a lot of you guys that are thinking about what happens if this goes bye-bye. What am I going to do? And I kind of wanted to give hope for those of you that have busted your butt on here for such a long time and, you know, getting your just due. <clears throat> hey, Cajun hope... girl, Angela. Hello, Shirley Boss. You did it once. You could do it again, damn it. You know what I mean? But hello, guys, if I missed you. Kaki was saying hello. What's up, Stromboli boss? Mm -hmm. No, delicious. Jamie doesn't game. I don't know. You're not a gamer. No. No. Gaming. He's not a gamer. Gaming is for children, guys. <laughs> <laughs> do you see me do anything child-related? I'm on. not a gamer either. I'm not into reindeer games. I mean, you want to see me hit the Super Nintendo hard? Let's go. But that's about <laughs> as far as I go. I mean, I had Super Nintendo, I had a PlayStation, but like... Wild opinion. Yeah, I was just joking around, but I don't play video games. I play Super Nintendo every once in a blue moon. But yeah. like when it comes to the new games, no, hey, I'm not good at them. I'm not good at them. Tetris. Hello, Munchkin. <laughs> Jamie, I'm already saying Hello, a 10 milk. for your meal because your video had me drooling. I haven't. I'm about to take a bite. Hey, Cortland. Hello, Court. So, my milk. I want you to look at my tacos. <sighs> Buffalo chicken tacos. Right. Excuse me. These are going to be good. 1 to 10. Boys and girls. What do you think I'm rating these bad boys? Hi, Kate. Hello, Lisa. Uh, Jamie picks the music for the videos because it's his video. Hello, Kate. I just picked up Domino's Pizza. Thanks for the referral, Kathy. <laughs> oh, yeah, because, you know, the half price pizzas. You got to do it. They're half price online. Well, it's great to see you, too, Nicholas. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Beach Girl. How are you, Kimmy? Hello, Vanessa. I didn't get a bite of everything, so that doesn't count as a rating. I am going to put some hot sauce on it just because buffalo seasoning is What's up, Bubba? for me. How are I'm you? Extra. What's up, Kelly? Uh, hello, Dennis K. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's get a really big bite of this one. My mouth, buffalo chicken tacos. Looks damn amazing, too. Thank you. These are good. And I'm not starting with the lower calorie wrap, with the lower calorie taco thing yet. Mm. I'm gonna start with the full one first. Munchkin, it's not a ten. No. Not even a nine. No, this isn't a winner. But wow, where something is off big time on these bagels. Maybe it's because they're keto bagels. Nine point. No, I'm gonna go eight point five. I'm gonna go eight point five. But you know what? The chips are delicious. <laughs> Can't go wrong with chips, especially if you bake them. Hello, Kimmy. Mom. It's not it's not a real New York bagel. Yeah, no, these are 647 bagels. That's not an area code. That's code for keto bagels. I just did a workout. I knew that, Court. I'm going to shower real quick. 
Stupid five. What's up, Ariel? And is that Antonio washing dishes? No. No, he's giving himself a tattoo. He's giving himself a tattoo at the moment. Who's washing dishes? No. Yeah. He's giving himself a tattoo. A Ninja Turtle. Hey, Nancy. To be more specific. Yeah, no, 8.5. Hello, MB. Hello, Nancy. It might even be a lower than 8.5 to the Hello, point Ariel. where I don't even eat both sandwiches. It's mad. Maybe it's the, the light cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Is this light cream cheese? I don't even think it's light cream cheese. I think it's the bagels. It is light cream cheese. Hmm. There's Will, there's Way. I gotta add something. Sorry, the bagels were trash. Nothing's little. Bagel seasoning for it? No. I'm not sure. Maybe it, maybe the tomatoes don't go on these. Changing a light bulb must be really hard for you. How did you know? I'm, because I'm double jointed, Nicholas, it is kind of hard for me to change the light bulb. So you're not wrong about that one. Well, I'm going to give my tacos a 10. You're 152 now? Very nice. Oh, boy. How's your tacos? Good? Yeah. I'm going to call them a 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are good. These little balls of sunshine are good, though. The crispy jalapenos. Mm-hmm. Happy I found they your account. Thank you. They are good because I stole one. I know. I told you you could have, you could have one. I have to try one because it's Let's not try a this. Let's delicious. try a, a jalapeno. Oh, that's gonna be good with the cheese. With the cheese, and go from there. I <laughs> want tacos now. I want tacos now. Looks <laughs> so good. These tacos are freaking delicious. These are not my normal tacos, but they look good. Ooh. Kimmy, that's good. 25 more pounds to go. They're freaking delicious. Would you rather get a Stone Cold Stunner or the Rocks People oh, Elbow? Good for you, Kimmy. Um, congratulations, girl. I'm so proud of you. 25 um, pounds to go. Good <clears throat> for you, girl. I'm going to say the Stone Cold Stunner because I've taken it before um, a couple times. One from the original creator of the move, Mikey Whipwreck, and I sold it like a million bucks. People's Elbow, you just kind of you take it. You make a funny little thing. Stone Cold Stunner, you can take that move with style. Make the person look really good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would take the Stone Cold Stunner, a.k.a. the Whippersnapper, um, 10 times, you know, 9 out of 10 times. <clears throat> You're going to send me a before and after? Okay, Kimmy. If I don't look at it tonight, I'll definitely look at it tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, I think it's the tomatoes, Munchkin. Let me take them off. And I'm a tomato guy. I like tomato, but sometimes they don't belong on certain things, you know? Mm. Yeah, I never have tomatoes with the jalapeno popper. Yeah, it don't make sense. Hello, Vanessa. Let's try it without it. I'm smoking a brisket tomorrow because you had Texas. My man loves meat. <laughs> nice. Jamie's dad smokes meat all the time. Mm -hmm. He just smoked a brisket not too long ago. And it was damn delicious. My dad's really good when oh, it comes to the smoker. He's such a good freaking smoke pit master, whatever the heck you call him. Hey, is that guy Nicholas in here or did someone boot him out? I didn't boot Never him out. Never mind, there he goes. Dude takes wrestling serious. I do. <laughs> Nicholas, <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. Nicholas, do you let's let's have a Hello, talk. Hello, Chastity. How you doing, bro? Nicholas, let's have a talk, me and you. Um, do you like me? Let's be real with each other, okay? Nobody has been booted. Thank you. Okay, I was just I was just asking. Yeah, I mean, I think Nicholas has like his certain. No, views. no, 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 no. He has his views, and I don't think he could be swayed. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm curious. I would, sometimes, um, I, I, I want to get to the root of things. If someone doesn't like me, I, I He just, said whatever floats your boat. Yeah, no, I love wrestling. Um, I was just curious. Hold on my mouth. Jamie, look up armadillo eggs. You would love them. 
What kind of what, where what kind of animal are they from? An armadillo. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of what is an armadillo? Is that a they, they lay eggs? I don't know. I was just making a joke. My mouth. What did you put in your tacos? Okay, so I need more cheese sauce. Mm, I put it away already. It's okay. So in my tacos, I took two boneless, skinless chicken thighs and then um, put like the buffalo seasoning on there, cooked them in a pan, cut them up, and then I took some buffalo ranch um, seasoning, buffalo ranch um, dressing that came from like a bag salad that had gone bad that I saved the dressing from because that doesn't go bad. I put that in there and then it was like crunchy like onions or whatever. And then some blue cheese crumbles, lettuce and tomatoes and oula, that's what I have. Do not mind me, I oddly love everything about you. Okay, so we're, we're cool. Oh, that, I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Have you ever had formula cheese? No, from Munda cheese and no. That's disgusting. I was reading what she wrote. I was about to say, what's formula cheese? <laughs> God, I can't read. <laughs> what's no. up, Grandma Faith? Nobody has had hey, from Munda cheese. Thank you. Yeah, Abby, it's better without the tomato. Still in the eighth. Thank though. God at least one of us is paying attention. I, guys, I'm not even playing with you. If those of you that are frequent guests with us, God. you see me misread stuff every single night. I can't help it. Maybe I need glasses. Actually, I do need glasses. Um, <clears throat> maybe you'll see me with glasses. Just watched AEW a couple hours ago. I liked it. I liked it. Powerhouse Hobbs. Hello, Johnny Bees. <laughs> Snowing on that one. What's up, Johnny Bees? I didn't see it tonight. I did realize it was it wasn't on last night, but I didn't know it tonight was the the night that they were they were putting it on. You snorted on that one, Emmy. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Because I was just like, oh, did they really say that? <laughs> yes, they really did. They really said that. I wonder if I actually if I have Rampage is recorded. The, I'm gonna check. Is, I, you don't. You don't because I went to go watch my show that I recorded from the other night and somebody deleted it on me. So there was nothing recording. Yeah. Uh, hello, Candace. Yeah. Let me see. I'm telling you, it's not recording. It's not there. I did. What, is today the 25th? Yeah. Boom. I got it. I'll watch it tomorrow. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, I didn't see that before. Maybe because I was looking for what I recorded and I was pissed off because it wasn't there. I'm beyond jealous. That's why I seem salty. Oh, no worries. Oh, good brother. Jamie, I can't read stuff either. At least it's not just me. <clears throat> reading was never like uh, reading and math. And hey, Tracy with a Honda. Remembering stuff was never my strong point. Um, I was... Like if we're talking about school, my strong points was I was good at art, I was good at gym, um, I was good at being organized until I stopped being organized, and then I was a, uh, I was a rat's nest. <clears throat> I was, uh, I was, geez, I'd say I could be really organized or I could be a mess, both, uh, to extreme levels. Oh, thank you, Maria G. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better, Tracy. I'm still like, I still have like this horrible lingering cough, but other than that. It's a nice necklace, Emmy. Excuse me, other than that, I'm fine. I'm, gonna I'm like... going to like the shit out of your life now. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Nicholas. Emmy, you could get this necklace on, uh, on Amazon, it's not yeah. expensive. It's not an expensive. Um, uh, it's not an expensive necklace. I think that's a Gemini thing. <clears throat> um, now you want tacos in my mouth? Of course you do. These tacos are so freaking good. I don't think I'm eating that second bagel. So if you get sick of your ta your tacos. I'm How not about getting it? second my tacos. 
Mm-mm. Good night, Andrew. Do you think maybe there was too much bacon on your tacos? No. On your the to tomato did it. How's the new job? I didn't start yet. I'm still waiting to hear back from my, for the win. my background check, and then I have to go for a drug test, which I'll pass with flying colors because I don't do anything. And then hopefully I'll start next week. Hopefully. I'm ready. I need to start next week, guys. I'm broke. I have $4 up in the cookie corner that my daughter keeps on trying to steal. So, yeah, I need to get to... Uh, I'm hoping that I get a phone call to go for my drug test Monday. And then I don't know how long a drug test takes to come back. I would think a day or two. Uh, I guess it depends. Or maybe maybe it's so far in advance that you go, you peek clean, and then they give the they give the go. He's good, he's good to go. Put this man to work. Normally, a drug test is like right away. Day or two with the new with the new tech. Okay, so if I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe I'll start Thursday. Hopefully. Sometimes the same. That would be nice. I'm so out of the loop. Congratulations on the new job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Drug test max 48 hours. Oh, thank you, Christine Smith. Yeah. Jimmy got a job. Thank you, Tater the Skater, for the gifts. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Becky Moore said congratulations. Thank you. Munch and I've done that before. The jalapeno popper grilled mm. cheese that I did like six months ago, seven months ago. She sent me her recipe. I bet you mine's better. Mm. Oh no. She puts a lot of jalapenos in hers. I think so, I'm gonna make hers and review it. <laughs> Kaki, are you live? Why wouldn't she be no, live? No, I, like, I don't go live on my account. We're live on Jamie's account. Yeah, it's just mine. Love you, I don't go live you. on my account. Did you think I was live on mine too, Bella? No, I don't go live on my account, like ever. I went live on my account like one time when I baked cookies and that was about it. What's your favorite pizza place? I have a local spot that is my favorite. I actually <laughs> am gonna talk with them because I'll be honest with you, if there is one pizza place that I would do a collaboration with and I would love to promote, 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 it would be them. Because I truly believe it's the best pizza on Long Island. <clears throat> But yeah, obviously, I would, I, you know, I would want to talk with them first and go, you know, shoot off some ideas. What's up, hey, brown brown eyes? Eyes? My thumb is getting tired. You're still liking, Nicholas? Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for all of the likes. We appreciate it. We appreciate your, I always text your or thumb call. clicks. Thank you. <laughs> Cortland says, I always text or call Kagi. Jamie, I'm always worried you'll just be mad. I joke. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm, 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 I get mad at everything. Jamie, oh no, you didn't. LOL, let's do the jalapeno pop and grilled cheese throwdown challenge. Ha ha. I bet you mine's better, Munchkin. I don't know. Munchkin sent me her recipe. Oh, Jamie. Oh shit, did you just say that? I did. Them fighting words? Yeah. Bring it, Chico. Let's see what you got. I already have a recipe. <laughs> she said it to me. I have a recipe too. It's all in the noggin. <sighs> yeah, I should have just did a plate of nachos tonight. As I see it now, you deserve it, period. Thank you. You should make a picture cookbook with all these great recipes. I'm working on the book. When it comes to the pictures, I don't know how great they're going to be. But we'll see. We will see. Would it pain you? <clears throat> I'll do it. Never mind. What? <clears throat> Let me finish my bagel first and make sure I'm going to do this because I got a basket of chips. I'm not. I don't think. You know what it is, guys? I'm not. Um, Abby said to take that and dip it in the cheese. I've been doing it, but I don't want to waste the cheese on the, the chips. What's up, Blue? I'll take the extra oh, bagel. Hello, Blue. Come on over, Emmy. You're about, well, I don't want to say how far um, you are from me, but you know, you're not far. I mean, come on over, girl. You want it? You got it. It's all yours. Mm. I'm pissed off about that SummerSlam pin. I spent a good two hours moving everything in the cookie corner. 
cleaning out my dresser. That pin was there because I saw it. It's not there anymore. What happened was I used the shoebox for garbage a couple of months ago, like six months ago, and I had a shoebox for that stuff that was in garbage. And I think the shoebox that was stuff that's not garbage got mixed. So chances are there's more than a SummerSlam pin that got thrown out that should not have gotten thrown out. What's up, Simple Gal? Thank well, you very much. On you. Hello, Simple Gal. Luckily, my mom says she might have another one. Um, now, in case she doesn't, I went to go see how much they are on eBay. Thank you, Lilo. Buy one now, that. $180. Yeah, buy one now, $180. Ridiculous. I'm not happy about that. Can you go through the trash, Jamie? Abby, six months ago, I don't know where that trash is. I, I, I honestly know. thought it fell behind the brick. I, I moved the brick. You moved the chair? I you moved looked the, under the carpet and everything? I moved the chair. I moved the carpet. I put a nice little uh, new... You didn't see the cookie corner. That cookie corner is cozy. Yeah, I know you clean, when you clean the cookie corner, usually your mess goes onto my side. I moved everything. <laughs> everything. I even cleaned out the top drawer, which was filled with a whole bunch of goodies. Oh, not there. Armadillo eggs, cheese stuffed jalapenos wrapped in sausage and bacon glazed in barbecue sauce. Oh, Nancy, that sounds delicious. It does sound very oh, good. Oh, that sounds like it's right up my alley. What's up, good Apollo? Yeah, I got the new job. I would love an armadillo egg. Thank you. <laughs> I would love a few. Oh, no, I didn't have a lot to throw out today. I threw out a lot of stuff, but it was like stuff that's actual garbage. <clears throat> I'm something you would call a hoarder. I hold on to everything, and I convince myself that I'll be able to do something with it months down the yeah, road. Yeah, Jamie hates getting rid of things. I don't like getting rid of things. I just don't. Did I know a lot of you guys are like that, too. Oh, my God, eggs. Oh, yeah, no. I didn't know what it was until Nancy said what it was, Court. I had no idea what an armadillo egg was, but, like, that's right up my alley. Jackie, are you a hoarder? That's from Bella. I am not a hoarder. I'm the hoarder. I am the thrower outer. I'm the one that likes to throw things out and not hold on to things. Like if I haven't used it in the past three to six months, it's garbage. Can you imagine, Jamie, you have to live out of a suitcase for the next nine months and only take what you need? <laughs> would you, would you imagine what I would bring? Hello, Mary. I uh, did get a chance to congratulate hey, you Mary. on your new job. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm still waiting here from that pesky background check. Then I gotta go take a drug test. And then hopefully I'll start next week. I need to start next week. I'm gonna start working on my, my White Castle video. Yeah, three months. Monday. And I discard that stuff. Exactly. If you haven't used it in the past three to six months, what do you need it for? Unless it holds sentimental value to where it was given to you by, like, you know, your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, whatever. If it doesn't hold sentiment, I, I'm getting rid of it. Like, if I haven't used it, it's garbage. I remember Spaceballs. I've seen oh, Spaceballs. I love Spaceballs. Never seen Star Trek or Star Wars, though. I love Spaceballs. And the giant hair dryer always makes me laugh. Why do we end up with each other? I love the father, aka my boyfriend. And then the throw outer me. <laughs> well, there's balance. You have to have balance. Snarky joke. <laughs> Hi, Brandy. It's not healthy to be a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not healthy to be, what, a hoarder? Oh, Corn. Marine? Well, I am. I bet you... If I were to take you guys upstairs to my room and show you what exactly I'm keeping because I have plans for it, you wouldn't be able to see it unless I create it. Then you would get the picture. I'm not a hoarder to the point where I keep garbage. I just keep stuff well, that I think I could use in the future. Well, here's the thing. 
Whenever Jamie saw somebody <coughs> throwing out a TV, Jamie be like, I'll take the TV. I'm like, yeah. we don't need another TV. Like, we had like six TVs at one point. I'm not like that no more, though. This is how you used to be. I'm like, we don't need another TV. And like, he would just like pour TVs. Like, our TVs were just gonna like break and die one day. <laughs> like, at least we got another one. <laughs> he used to just like pour them. And I'm just like, What's up, Captain? You don't Cole? need to keep all of these TVs. You know what? That's a hard question. I couldn't pick just one. What's on your ankle, dude? Fashion. Howdy, guys. Hello, Alana. I'm 63 and still have my high school cheerleader. Well, see, that's sentimental. I hold on to <clears throat> things that are sentimental, have sentimental value, or things that have meaning to me. Anything else is garbage. Hey, Nancy, do you ever put it back on? Throw those pom poms up in the air? So you've still got it? I uh, like rah, your rah. three month thing. Well, yeah. Three months <clears throat> if it's not something, if it's not something that holds sentimental value. Like if it's something that my mom gave to me, I'm never throwing it out. If it's something my grandma gave me, I'm never throwing it out. But like, if it's like some mundane thing that I bought and I haven't used in like the past three to six months, poof, out the door. Don't need it. I got a Shawn Michaels denim jacket that my mom bought me when I was 13 years old, hanging up in my closet. I'm not getting rid of that. Yeah, we. I've seen it. Great orders. idea if it has a plan. Have you ever seen the show? Oh, Kate, I was obsessed with the show orders. I used to watch orders all the time. Love you guys. Stay positive. Thank you. Do you, Emmy, the black one with the red and gold on the back? Mine's in great condition because I never wore it out in public. She said hers is in bad condition, though. Yeah, mine's in great condition. Oh, the Shawn Michaels one? Shawn Michaels one, yeah. That's because your mom held on to it for so long. Yeah, my mom... She protected that sucker. Mm -hmm. My mom kept it because I got fat and she's like, you're never going to wear this again. <laughs> Oh, did she didn't know that I was gonna lose all this weight and by cracky it fits me just fine now. <laughs> what are you laughing That's at? true, it fits you fine now. Fits me perfect. Fits me better now than it did when I was smaller. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying your dinner and night. Thank you, Wix. Thank We're you, good. Wicks. Hey M Stamp. What's up? Mm. I will put you in the ring. Ducky McSprinkle. I like your name. I like your name too. However, <laughs> I don't like that I'm not submission. Gonna repeat it. <laughs> My print is missing in spots. How come you don't give Jamie one of your tacos? I don't want it, Fry. I'm. I have, because so I don't like to share. That and I'll be honest with you. And don't take offense to this. I don't want her tacos. Don't want them. Well, I had a cookie good, pie last night that I didn't sure. even finish. So I took Kat to work this morning. Uh, had a nice little drive with her. And then had to wait for, with her for wait a little for bit. Doors to open. <clears throat> and then um, I came home. I was cold. Didn't get a great night's sleep last night. Um, Neither did I. <laughs> had some bites of that. <clears throat> you know what wrestling I watched last night? And the reason I remember this is because I woke up and on the when you watch WWE on the cock, it goes to the next episode of what, whatever you're watching. So I've been watching Saturday Night's Main Event. And I watched, when I clicked play last night, it was Sergeant Slaughter versus Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And then when I woke up again, it was... Earthquake and Hillbilly Jim, or vice versa. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> which one it was, but I just kept on wanting to watch it. Tacos don't want you. I know, once again. <laughs> How do you feel about UFC? We used to watch it all the time. Mm -hmm. We don't watch it anymore. It used to be like, I have like UFC watchers, but we haven't watched it in so long. Oh, baby. Ronda Rousey got scared. How do you feel? Uh, Ronda, 
I thought Ronda was great. Hey, sorry. Have you played the WWE video games? I used to. I don't play them anymore. The last wrestling game I bought was um, when SmackDown first came out. I remember WrestleMania 2000, WCW Revenge, No Mercy, Warzone uh, for PlayStation, then Attitude for PlayStation, and then um, once it got to the SmackDown level, I like, guess it's getting a little bit too fancy. Oh, have a good night, Simba Girl. Yeah, good night. So, I'm just not into games anymore. I'll play Mario, maybe Donkey Kong if the kids want to play, but for the most part, yeah. playing video games is just not my thing anymore. What do you think about Stormy Daniels? Is that a wrestler, Kagi? I get mixed up. <laughs> Court, like Stormy Daniels Stormy is not Daniels. a wrestler. Stormy Daniels? I've never heard of him, Court. Oh, Court, that's... what are you talking about? Stormy Daniels is a female. Used to be in the adult industry. Pretty, pretty girl. Well, there you go, Court. Jamie would know. He's a professional. I do know. <laughs> He's a professional watcher. <laughs> I'm out of that business. <laughs> If you saw me, you saw me, you're not going to see me in anything any, uh, coming up. I was watching the running reel you posted at night in the rain. I wish I had your dedication. Oh, don't be sorry about talking about wrestling. Even though it doesn't interest me, it's fine. Yeah. I'll just sit here like a deer in headlights. It's fine. <laughs> um, sorry, I, you know what? I post those running videos because I like running. So, I mean, if you liked running, you would probably do the same thing. Your page is awesome. Just found you on my For You page. Thank you. When when will the punch be ready, Jamie? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I was heavily advised not to do what I was going to do with selling the recipe. <clears throat> Your gifts are near, guys. Excited. Keep holding it all gets there safe. Mm. We'll let you know when Keep we get it. Keep hoping it all gets there safe. Munchkin. I'm sure it will, I know. Don't you worry. And there will be somebody to sign for it, so don't you worry. Yeah. Why am I craving a New York bagel? I'm craving a New York bagel too, Abby, because mm. this ain't it. When I got up this morning, and I never crave food in the morning, I was literally thinking, like, a bacon, egg, and cheese right now. Pizza. Would definitely hit the spot. A bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, salt, pepper, ketchup. Oh, my God. Ducky. Um, asked if you lived in a deserted island forever, what's the one food you would want to eat every day? For me, pizza. If you lived in it, what was the one food? And then what are your five top bands? Kiss? The one food I would want to eat forever. Brownies. Kiss? Brownies for sure. Heart? Um, kiss? Heart? <laughs> That's a hard question. Stormy has a strong back. <laughs> this part. Um, Ace of Base, I like a lot too. Um, <coughs> uh, definitely kissing hard. Ace of Base. Um, Top three then. Yeah, I don't want to be... It can, get a little, it can get a little foggy when it comes to... Cause I don't want to leave one out, but I know for sure Kiss and Heart is in there. Would it be taco? Yeah, I guess it would be tacos. It's a toss up, excuse me, between tacos and brownies because they're like one and the same in my no. book. Tacos See, and brownies. I'll do pizza. Pat Penetar is another good one. I love Pat Penetar. Let's all go to the Kiss show. I've never been to a Kiss concert. Jamie's been to a Kiss concert. He's been to more than one. I've been I've seen Kiss a bunch of times. It's it's so important to count your blessings through a hard time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You look like Nikki Six. I get that every day. I do. I don't All see it. I think it's just the long hair and the makeup. What time is it? It is twelve forty-two Eastern Standard Time. They're doing another farewell tour. <laughs> How many farewell tours are they going to do? Give Kiss. They could do as many as they want. 
There's never going to be another kiss. Oh, my mouth. I'm always craving my griddle. But I never get to McDonald's early enough to get it. Courtland, don't, don't think I didn't see that comment. Because I did. <laughs> <laughs> you can spend the day with one person who passed. Not a family member. Not a family member or what? If you can spend a day with one person who passed. Not a family member. A celebrity. And who? Um, a celebrity that passed. Oh, I know mine. When I was little, sorry. My, oh, mine would be a wrestler, but... Um... I wouldn't want to spend it with Marilyn Monroe. A whole day with someone that's not a family member that's passed away. A whole day. Um... Uh, I'm picking Marilyn Monroe. Razor Ramon or Brian Pillman? Razor Ramon or Brian Pillman, probably. For me, Julia Roberts, she's still alive. Right? Julia Roberts? Mm -hmm. I, mom, uh, Maureen Pig. Well, Julia Roberts is still alive. Somebody that's passed. You have to pick somebody that's passed away. Betty White, that's a good one, Anne. Owen Hart. Yeah, Owen Hart's a good one. Robin Williams, Betty about, White, I thought Macho about Man. Owen Hart. God, why didn't I think about Macho Man? I'm going, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to go and I say Macho would Man. I love to spend time with Marilyn Monroe. Macho Man, Scott Hall, or or um, or Brian Pimm. It would probably be Macho Man. 100% Macho Man. I met Pillman when I was little. I was supposed to meet him. Did you meet him at the Nassau Coliseum? When they were doing that autograph session? He was late, and they wound up sending Mick Foley, I think, for a replacement. I remember that, because we didn't wait. Michael Landon, Jim Morrison. Johnny Cash, James Dean. Johnny Cash. Julia Childs. Oh, Julia Childs. Yeah, mine's Macho Man, 100%. We would totally drink. Amy Winehouse for Cortland. I was thinking, you know what, Court? That's funny that you say Amy Winehouse because I was thinking Amy Winehouse. Kurt Cobain. I couldn't believe you didn't say Macho Man first. You must be tired. Everybody knows I love Macho Man. I, you know what it is? And this might sound crazy, but I was looking at who I would have like the most in common with. And I probably do have a lot in common hey, with Macho dancer. Man. But Razor Ramon and Brian Pillman, I don't know. There's something about... Because I never, I never got to meet any of those guys, right? And Kenny Rogers and Burt Reynolds. 100% all day long Macho Man. Yes. <clears throat> James Dean is buried about 45 minutes from my area. Have the James Dean Festival every year. Nice. Cream of the crop. Uh-huh. The cream always rises to the top. Jamie, we were at the same sign-in. Funny question, it was a Christmas holiday tour, if I remember correctly, and me and my mom and my dad and my brother were, oh geez, what were we, we were, we met Mick Foley, either Pillman or Owen was supposed to be there, and then they were running late, and we didn't wait, in hindsight, sense, I think, I'm almost positive it was, it was Pillman. It was um, at an auto barn. Yes. But the, the, the thing was at the Nassau Coliseum. The show was at the Nassau Coliseum. But the signing was at an auto barn. Mm -hmm. And there was a carnival, I think, or something Michael like that. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is another good one, yeah. I could pass on, on, on Michael. Mm, I don't think I could pass on Michael. Mm -hmm. I know my mom was more of a Prince guy. Prince girl. Excuse me. Pillman was late, yes. So small world. Ever the same age. You're older than me, but just by a little bit. Yeah. See, he's nice to you when it comes to, oh, you're older than me by, by a little bit. And then when it comes to me, he's like, oh, God, he's fucking old. And he's my pal. <laughs> I see you every day. <laughs> She's your pal. 
you know, I only bore your children. It's fine. <laughs> what about Cliff? Who's Cliff Burton? I don't know who that is. My mom loved Prince. That was why. So does Jamie's mom. Yeah, my mom is a Prince over. My mom Michael. liked Prince too. You gotta look up Dave Chappelle's skit on Prince. True story. It's true story. It's it's a, I'm sure it is. Anything Dave Chappelle is just hilarious, <laughs> just in general. Dicky's been demoted. Hey, the three of us would have a, would have a ball together. <laughs> 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 See, you're, hey, you know what? You're lucky that you get to hang out with Dickie. Back when I was around, Dickie always had something to do. Dickie was a busy man. <laughs> Didn't get to hang out with him all that much. Especially with his crazy work schedule. I can only imagine. I'm four years your senior. Well, in July. <laughs> Yeah, was a, Kelly four. saw. Kelly, no. Kelly said she went to the Purple Rain concert. Oh, thank you, Christy. If you for the could, gifts, girl. The taco gifts. Thank you. Appreciate if you could make that. one law for the world, uh, can you? Going to Ducky said it. If you could make one law for the world, what would it be? No bullying. Be effing kind. Yeah, no bullying. <laughs> That's what I. Would be. Just be nice. I would be say, nice to everyone. That's would, the freaking law. I would 100% say no bullying. Just be kind. That simple. I know Cheech from Cheech and Chong. Very cool, Ab. You know him? People say I look like one of them. Oh, you like our answers? Thank you. Yeah, we just want people to be nice. I believe it, Emmy. You know. I would say Kindness no. is will get you <clears throat> well, here's why I said that. so much further than meanness. Hold on. Let me give you my reasoning for saying no bullying. Uh, especially these days, bullying is I mean, causes a lot of shit. Um, if I were to go and say something like uh, political, someone would not agree with me, right? Like I stayed away from the, 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 the laws and that people go, you know, crazy over and disagree. I don't think anybody... Unless you're a bully, of course, would disagree with me saying no more bullying. Could I still give dirty looks sometimes? Yeah, dirty looks is okay, but bullying? Listen, I give dirty looks all the time. It's just, you make looks with your eyes, and then there's spew that comes out of your mouth. It's just mean. You can, you can look at somebody and be like, oh. yeah, you can do that. But just be kind, like when you speak to other people. Maybe you don't like this particular person. There's but don't lots of sit people. there and be like, oh, you're an A. There are lots of people that I don't like. I got some of them in my live on YouTube right now, right, Munchkin? But I deal <laughs> with it. I deal with it. <laughs> I kid. She knows that. Um, uh, what the hell was I going to say? I was going to get to something more important, though. I had to make the crack on Munchkin. Uh, oh, the TV show. I don't know. Oh, Yellowstone. <laughs> I started to watch Yellowstone with Jimmy's parents. I have to go back and catch up because I think it's like, I don't even know what season they're on now, but I know I'm many seasons behind and I have to catch up on Yellowstone. Would you hang out with Nikki Six? If Nikki Six messaged me and said, Jamie, let's hang out, um, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? Have you er ever heard the Chris Rock bit on the need for bullying? Never heard it. But I'm sure it's probably funny because Chris Rock is hilarious. I Prison like Break Chris was Rock. a good move. Was a good show. Oh, I liked Prison Break. I really don't watch TV shows anymore besides Young Rock. But if I had to go back in time, Baywatch was another good one. I love Baywatch. I love Saved by the Bell. Who didn't like Baywatch? Um, Prison Break was a good one. Me and Kathy used to watch Oz. Oh, Oz, yeah, on HBO. They don't. Uh, we oh, Burn Notice too. Rescue Me, The O.C., mm -hmm. um, One, Tree One Tree Hill. Hill. Me and Kaggy got into a lot of shows together, yeah. together after the fact they went off TV. Well, no, we watched One Tree Hill. We caught up on One Tree Hill until it was, like, current. Yeah. And then we watched it until, I guess, we stopped watching it. And then we caught up. <laughs> then we caught up. 
with it when you used to buy like the DVDs like from Blockbuster when it was going out of business, if you remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, because we because we used to get our cable shut off off, yeah. shut off, off on us yeah. all the time. Our cable used to get shut off. So yeah. if we lost cable, we went to Blockbusters and bought a season. Yeah, and Blockbuster was going out of business at that point. So like everything was discounted. Everything was like 75% off. Yeah, Oz was hot. Oz was a good show. I didn't see, I didn't. I wasn't a big 70s show uh, watcher. Yeah, I wasn't a big 70s show person either. You remember when Tobias is, uh, what was his name? Uh, what is the guy? From, from Tobias that? Beecher. I knew that. What was his, his, uh, his lover? He's in um, Law and Order. What was his name uh, in the show? Oh, Chris. Remember when he gets shot and he's he, he's walking and they, they, he gets shot in the shoulder in slow motion. He's just he's like, like <laughs> yeah. The classic shows. Jamie, you know what I'm talking about? I could never picture like like Chris I know detectives. Maloney. Yeah, Chris Maloney. Um Detective Stabler. I have a hard time seeing him as anybody but Detective Stabler. So anytime he plays like any type of role <laughs> where he's Once like again. a criminal, I really have a hard time. Being like, oh my god, he's the bad guy. I can't. He's Detective Stabler. I can't. I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know if it's like that for anybody else, but that's how it is for me. Nora, so true. I was cyber bullied. Jamie definitely asking for it. Nora, he really is. Hey, listen. I sometimes I gotta keep munching on her feet. I don't know if she kind of falls asleep, <laughs> and I want to make sure she's paying attention. He, he just likes. To I mess love with my mom. messing with with Munchkin. He it's loves what, messing. It's what with we her. do. <laughs> but hello, then, but then she, my milk knows that at the end of the day, I have her back, and if he says something that at the end of the day she knows bothers her, her at the I'll end just of, put the pillow over Jamie's head at night. It's fine. Munchkin, have I? Let's be real. Let's do some real talk. Have I ever said anything that hey, hurts your feelings? You know I love you. You know everything that comes out of my mouth in an insult oh, way. Boy. You know it's, we're all good, but we joke around like pals. Let's hear the comeback, Nora. Oh, no, no. See, we don't have it like that where me and Pete go back and forth with each other. Um... Me and Munchkin kind of like... And my Munch mouth knows she's got somebody on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> she's got somebody on the inside. Um, hello, Vicky. I had bagels. I didn't eat one of them because I didn't like them. I did like the chips. I part. had tacos, but they were so good that they disappeared. All she's by been themselves. in for so long and she knows he's joking. Yeah, of course she does. <laughs> <laughs> when the time is right, I get them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's very true. You is that bacon on the bagel? Yes. That's bacon, tomato. I wasn't crazy yeah, about the night's dinner. Yeah, so ready for bed. <laughs> my freaking tacos were so freaking good. I didn't think I could outdo my tacos from the other night, but these ones. Ooh, these were. Uh, Freaking horse of a different color. Let me give it one more bite without the tomato. Who who puts the tomato? Uh, no, I never really watched Big Ben Theory. Like me neither. I every do once in a while, like when it came on TV, I, I would watch it. But like, I wasn't into it. It wasn't my cup of tea. I do watch. Oh, good night, Aunt Christine. I've seen a couple of shows of the Sheldon as a kid. Oh, Young Sheldon? Young Sheldon. That comes on Avengers. after Young Rock, right? Uh, no, it comes on, um, on after AEW. All right, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the bagels. That's no way or no good. So, all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your night. Have a good day tomorrow. If you hung out with us and watched this whole episode, hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate your support. Yes. We'll be back tomorrow. Maybe SpaghettiOs, I'm thinking. Uh, do you watch French uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air? When I was little, oh, I did. Of course, that was like a staple. No worries, when I, was I love. Kid. I laugh. I love you. I know you do. Love you too. All right. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys. <sighs> oh. And baby. <sighs>